Hi guys, welcome back. It's Piggy from the Paper Bumblebee. Today I wanted to share with you the kit I'm going to use in the next uh, design team project for Natalie from Line Dot Arrow. It's called Spring Writings. So this is just her signature page that you can use as well if you want to. But this is what she uses uh, in her Etsy shop. I will link everything down below in the description box if you are interested in this kit. So let's have a look. This is her one of the pages and she just put some postcards together and made a little collage. And you can also see some beautiful stamps and a stamp as well with the date and everything. It's Roman, so if you translate it, you can see what the date is. This is really interesting. She uh, found some letters in her, I think it was her, um, her father-in-law's stuff. And this is how it was folded. So you can see the folds. And she just, in every square, she made, uh, well, she put uh, some flowers. So if you want, you can fussy cut them. Or you can cut them in squares or you can fold this on the folds you can see the folds really clear and have it like in a letter uh, shape that the letter she had found was so that's really uh, I think a lot of sentiment behind this I just love this here she used it again you can see the lines clearly and here is a piece of that letter. She said it's just a piece for it was very private and she doesn't want to use everything. So you can see a part of it here and a part of it here. And then she put some flowers and a bird on there. Really love this. I don't want to know what sentiments behind this. Everything that's all the emotions and everything. Okay. Next, uh, another collage page. Beautiful again, all all this stuff uh, is postage cards and some just some cards and then she put some beautiful flowers on there and beautiful little birdies the next one is some ledger paper and you can see in the background real faint also that handwritten letter and she put some um, flowers here on the bottom and just uh, markings and like a little ticket then this page is also really nice some handwritten stuff going on here she could like a collage it there in the corner here as well and then some beautiful flowers really faint love this page but this is my favorite page I just love it it's like a green envelope here with the handwritten uh, on top there then We've got like a ledger here and you can see the, I don't know if it's rope or anything that the papers were kept together with rope or something, I don't know. And then she's got some mathematic stuff on there, the flowers and pictures and more flowers. I just love this page. That's my favorite. Then we've got collage page again with some postage cards really gorgeous some stamps this is again some ledger paper with handwritten letter she put in the background there and then with some flowers here and there also really nice this is also beautiful colors some ledger paper and some flowers in the background and again some of that handwritten from the letter or something to put there then this is the background page as well some music paper really faint in the background and some ledger paper I don't know if you can see that some music paper some ledger paper some beautiful flowers and this one as well here's some music paper and you can see faintly the letter in the background and this looks like a dictionary page, this I think as well, or a piece of a Bible. Some flowers, also really beautiful. This is also gorgeous, collaged again, some postage cards, I think. 
and then some handwritten uh, I think from the letter she put on top there with some flowers show you here you can see some flowers in the background as well it's really gorgeous kit again I love her work here we can find some um, this is like music paper but not that already is printed but you have to write your own music it's only the the lines so you can make your own music notes on there that kind of paper again that handwritten letter stuff in there really beautiful some flowers in the background lots going on here you have to see it for yourself beautiful and this is also one of my favorites again the handwritten letters the flowers gorgeous and then we get the ephemera so she made a lot of labels with spring blossom all the words and then some that are empty you can use to stamp your own words or write whatever you want then she's got these um, pockets full pockets also again beautiful this is that same paper she used that was the letter beautiful and then the flowers on here really nice love it here you got this is also you can fold it like into an envelope and then we've got here a feather and a frame with some flowers and a little taggy six uh, large tags love those. and then again those labels but then just a tad smaller again the written ones and the empty ones and also the four pockets in a smaller size so you've got eight pockets oh here's the same one but then printed in the right way so this is the color shines more not shine shine but you can see it better sorry about that um then you get this this are these are four stamps you can use it like this or you can cut the stamps and make your own and some more ephemera postcards to make some journaling cards again postage card and that envelope that paper that made with the folds uh, just the ephemera and some tags smaller tags and here you got six more tags now if you buy this kit you get another kit with this so you get two kits for the price of one it is the same kit but it's printed in, in sepia it's the same kit but it's printed in sepia so let's have a look i'm just going to flip through real quick so the same pages but in sepia so they're all in those brownish tints so you get two kits and you can decide if you want to use this or you want to use the other one or you can even mi mix and match if you want to I just love this as well look at how gorgeous love it and I think if you have this as well you can when you print this in black and white it's a lot easier and more even more beautiful now oh, this is upside down love it collage we've got the tags and the small labels so you really get a lot 
that if you buy this kit with the smaller pockets. Here are the bigger labels and the empty ones. The ephemera, you get the postage cards, the stamps, the bigger postage card, the smaller tags, the four larger pockets. Another six ta uh, tags, yes. Really love it. Again, the envelope and the frame with the flower, so you can cut that out if you want to. You can leave it like this. And then the letter. Love this. This is beautiful in sepia. So that is what you get when you buy this kit. You get two kits. Isn't that amazing? And what a wonderful idea. I wonder how many people will use the sepia. So let's start on the design team project. Okay guys, so firstly what I wanted to do is cover these two envelopes with some of these papers so I will be doing that I think I'm going to use this one I love this it's a warm color and I think I will be using this one this is also one of my favorites and let's do that Um, let me see. Just a piece of the flower. Just gonna draw that quickly. Okay. So we'll have that and we'll see what else we've got for the inside and then this one as well. Just gonna fold it like this and put them together and just cut them. So I wanted to do the top of the envelope and as well as the inside. So we can use this for there and then the inside. Oh, that's fine. That one and we've got another envelope. And I want to put this on the one side and then this. Oh, maybe I will turn it around this on this side and this on the inside the only thing now i've got this white stripe and i wonder if i cut it off if it will be too small didn't think of that yes i'm just gonna use it anyway That's fine, nothing's perfect. So I'm just gonna glue that down quickly and cut off the excess. Okay guys, I've done that. I've done this side and this side and then this envelope as well. So now we are going to cover everything else. So the front and also the back of oh, this is just too small ah. mm. Let me just see. 
Just a little piece there. Mm. Can't do that like this. I think I might just do this and then collage a little piece on there as well. And on this side. Maybe this I'm just gonna cut this off. Okay, so I'm stick that on there. I use my finger to get the glue nice and flat and everywhere. on here. Okay, so we've got this little corner here. I'm just gonna see what can I put in the corner here. Okay, maybe we can use some of this. Mm, nope. Um, maybe a little flower, and this flower, And I'm fine with that. So I'm just going to do everything else. I don't know if you can see the sun is shining inside. Let me just turn this light off. So I'm going to do the rest and then I'll be back. Okay, so that's done. I've done the flap, the back and the inside as well. And then also the other side. Same with this one. And... I forgot to tell you, but this was inspired by Louisa Heinzel, and I want to do something like similar, but different. I want to put the little booklet on the inside. So let's see. I've got some papers here, and we have to fold these to fit in there. I'm just going to cut off the white. See if I fold it in half. Oh, that's perfect, perfect size. So, I'm gonna quickly fold these pages to fit them in there. Don't know if I'm gonna use them all. And 
and I want to put some coffee dyed papers in there as well. So I'm just going to do that quickly and I will show you what I've done. Okay, so I just want to show you what I've done. So I tore uh, some pages in half and I made a little booklet. And I will be doing some coffee dyed papers in between. But then I wanted to put something in here as well. So we've got those pages with the fold line. So I've just tried this out quickly. So I folded on this line. There's a line over there and a line over there. Then we've got a line here and a line here. And I'm just going to fold it like so, and that is what I'm, I hope will it fit here. We'll put in this one envelope. If it will fit, yes. Maybe the other way around. I don't know why it's so hard to get stuff in here. So I want to put that in here. this one and then I've got this one this is gorgeous and I want to do the same so fold on this line and I'm going to fold on this line If you turn it around, you've got a fold line here and here. So let's fold that. Just love this. And then we've got this. So you can fold it like so, but I'm going to leave it like this and tuck it in my other envelope. Like so. I can go in further, but I like to let it peep, peep out. So this will go in the inside. I'm just going to get some coffee dyed papers and tear those and put them, I think, every other page. And then I want to enforce the spine of these two, for these will be the spine of my little booklet and also the spine of the little papers, so we can put that in there so i was thinking of taking some fabric first i want to put some tape and then some fabrics and over this side as well but first let's get the coffee dyed papers okay so i did the pages and every other page i put a coffee dyed paper and as you can see the papers are really uneven and long but we want to make them old and crunchy and let's just try this and make them like they are really used this method side on the back and do the same thing
And then we're going to play with some inks as well. What we've got? Ground espresso, walnut stain. Let me see. Um, wild honey could be one. I think I want to use all the colors in the kit. Let me see. I think I will start with the walnut stain. And just go over it with my ink pad. So we are going to let me just get some this is just some um, baking paper and we're going to spread some water to activate that ink. Get enough water on me, and then let's let it dry quickly. Oh, not quickly, but let's let it dry. So I dried it a bit with my heat gun for. Well, I'm impatient. So as you can see, we've got some greens as well. So I'm going to try the to do the same with the forest moss. Just going over with my ink pad on this side as well. Shift the pages a bit, maybe on this side as well. And we love some on the inside as well. Okay, and then we are going to spritz again. First, let me see that catch the pages on the inside as well okay so we'll have to wait again let it dry and as you can see the green also made whoops, sorry about that a little bit of yellow and it gives it a really old look and I love it so I'm just debating I think that's enough for for now um, this is not completely dry yet. Let's let that dry. So what I wanted to do is decide what I want on the outside. Now Louisa had them both with the flaps outside, but I wanted to think I think I want this on the outside on the front. And then I think that Maybe I will do both on the inside, or maybe one on the outside, one on the inside. Maybe like that. Then the booklet will go in here. Or should I do both on the inside? I think I will do both on the inside, otherwise it's a bit strange. So... That's what we've done so far. Um, we'll be inking around the envelopes as well. 
we'll do that and I think then we will be done for today let's do the walnut stain well oh, that's gorgeous let's go around the envelope Other one the other side. just on the inside of this as well like so okay and then again we're going to spritz with some water everywhere oh, I did put the ink everywhere and let that activate the other side as well just have to see if the glue will hold otherwise I have to glue that again something here this is soaking wet and let this dry mm -hmm. 